My name is Alberta Soranzo and I'm currently Managing Consultant at Tobias & Tobias in London. Formerly I was a Director of UX at Friday here in London and at UCLA in Los Angeles. Well, it's an interesting question. Uh, three years ago I gave a talk uh, at DIA Summit precisely about unicorns. And the way I look at unicorns is a bit different from the industry terminology in that uh, unicorn is someone who can do everything. Um, for me, a unicorn is someone who, um, that doesn't exist or is very, very rare, but is able to adapt their thinking to any situation. In the more, you know, in the industry sense of the word, however, I think that UX, baby UX unicorns are easier to find than full grown up UX unicorns in that when you hire a junior or a mid-white or whatever the equivalent label is in uh, a particular organization, people tend to know a little bit of everything. As one progresses, um, we tend to specialize in an area of interest or we should specialize in an area of interest. So in, in, we like to talk a lot about T-shaped people, people that have a broad knowledge of the subject matter and then they specialize in a vertical. And I think that that's a fairly accurate, um, fairly accurate description of what a unicorn would evolve into. I think that neither, really. They're not solitary, they're not uh, living in herd. They belong into small groups of people. Uh, I was recently working on a project where the project team was a herd. It was over 20 people. That doesn't work. It doesn't work for T-shaped people. It doesn't work for unicorns. It doesn't work for solo practitioners. It's about finding the right size um, for each given project, for each given client. But when it comes to relationship, I think that working in isolation becomes uh, dangerous because we lose uh, all the advantages that we get from exchanging ideas, getting validation of our own thinking from other people. So uh, whatever the preference is, I, my preference is that we all live and operate in a context that's made of more than ourselves. Uh, I think we all try to project a lot more confidence and competence than we actually really feel. There are people that are really good at skimming stuff on the web and using the right buzzwords and that should be an indication that they're neither unicorns nor professionals. Um, buzzwords actually are uh, an interesting topic for me. When someone comes and says all the right things that are trending on Twitter at that point in time, it's a person that I probably do not want on my team. On Twitter. That's where UX lives. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.